What up, guys? It's just here, and today we're reading Julian Secret Agent, um, chapter one. I mean, chapter chapter four. Sorry. Um, I tell a story. It was three days later, earlier in the morning. We hadn't gotten into any trouble for being secret agents so far, but nothing exciting had happened either. Since we found Crumbles, we had checked the supermarket parking lots often, looking for dead bodies and sick dogs. We hadn't found either. We had checked the bank ab about twenty times, hoping someone would rob it. Nobody had. We were back on our secret meeting place in the park, trying to think of where we could find criminals. I know criminal might be I know a known criminal might go to the hospital, Gloria said, to get plastic surgery and change his or her face. This goes to use getting surgery, I said. They don't they don't always let children in hospitals, Gloria said. I th I thought about that. I also thought about what dad would say if he knew we were going to, to the hospital. I decided he wouldn't say anything. The hospital wasn't far. It was right downtown. It's a good idea to go, I said. If anyone asked us, we could say that we we are here because your mother is going to have a baby. Why should it be my mother, Gloria demanded. Why not your mother? If our mother ever found out about it, she might not like that story, Huey said. My mother wouldn't like that either, Gloria said. We aren't supposed to make up stories, Huey said. Especially you, Julian. I suppose we just go and we, we don't make up any story, I said. Suppose we just look around fast. Okay, Gloria said. Okay, Huey said. Ten minutes later, we, we went through the door of, of the hospital. We passed the lobby and the gift shop we, where people buy presents for their sick relatives and friends. We passed a nursing station. A nurse looked at us. Question, Christian marks were spinning in her eyes. We're going to see our mother. her mother, I explained, pointing to Gloria. I kept walking fast. Julian, Gloria said. Do you have, did you have to say that? Somebody had to make a sacrifice, I whispered. It just ha happened to be you. We saw a sign painted in black letters in the wall. It said, Surgery. There was a big black arrow next to it, pointing straight ahead. We started We started to slow down. There were patients in the hall walking slowly, wearing pajamas. It didn't look as as if their faces had been changed recently. Excuse me, Gloria said to one man. What are you having? I had it, said the man. Appendix out. He made a gesture with his hand, hands, as if it was was pulling out something of his right out of his right side. Oh, Huey said. Believe me, said the man. It was better out than in. What are you kids doing here? We're visiting their mom, Gloria said. Maybe you should ask the nurse if you're in the right section, said the man. Oh, nurse, he called. Make like a tree, I said. A tree, Huey said. I'm not a tree. Huey, I said. Leave. I pulled him by the hand. I hope you're better soon, Gloria called to the man with his appendix out. We zoomed to the sign marked exit as fast as we could go. Hope you guys enjoyed chapter four. If you guys didn't, too, leave a like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye.